There's something truly special about travelling by motorcycle. The feeling of total freedom and being fully immersed in your surroundings is like no other. A rider becomes a part of each landscape they pass through. My name is Jacinta Syracuse. I'm a motorcycle journalist and long-time motorcycle enthusiast. I'm riding with my partner Nathan Hanna, motorcycle photographer. Motorcycles were one of the shared passions that brought us together. On this five-day road trip, we'll be following famous motorcycle roads throughout New South Wales, encountering some of the state's most spectacular vistas, stopping off to meet locals, and having some fun along the way. We're departing from Sydney and heading west up into the iconic Blue Mountains. The rugged wilderness of the Eucalypt forest-covered mountain range is home to some of the country's most stunning scenery and isn't too far from the city. We are taking the 59km Bells line of road. This stunning ride winds through the mountains, passing plenty of towns worth checking out like Philpin and Currajong. There's scenic outlooks and lots of fun corners along the way. Surrounded by national parks, we stop in at the Hillbilly Cider Shed for some wood-fired pizzas. Cider maker Shane McLaughlin takes us on a tour of his lush Philpin orchards. So we're going to do a rider cider paddle for you guys. It's a non-alcoholic, that's our non-alcoholic apple. We've got a bit of just pure apple juice and we'll finish off with a bit of kombucha. I think the whole integration with the orchard and the barrel hall and so many ciders on tap is quite unique, especially in Australia. We head over to the Grand Canyon walking trail near Blackheath, which is known for its impressive views to meet Tim Tranter from Tread Lightly and set off on foot. The six kilometre loop takes you past impressive sandstone cliffs, waterfalls and forests, right into the heart of the World Heritage listed landscape. It's a fantastic hike, gives you a fantastic uh, look at what ancient Gondwana rainforest really was. You can look back across to where you guys were coming along the Bells line of road with uh, so many roads around these valleys and then there's uh, some dirt roads which you can take road bikes on. Sections of the hike are a bit challenging, so make sure you pack some decent walking shoes. Time to get back on the bikes and make tracks to our campsite for the evening. We're staying at Old Ford Reserve in the Megalong Valley. We'll rest up here before heading to Mudgee first thing tomorrow. Join us on the next episode. Head to visitnewsouthwales.com for more road trip content. And don't forget to subscribe to the Visit New South Wales YouTube channel.